Our next story is from Africa, from Kenya in the east. For almost a month now, Kenya's healthcare sector has been in a crisis. Hundreds of doctors are on strike. They're demanding higher wages and better working conditions. But the government has refused to budge. Kenya's president says there's simply no money. So there's a stalemate. And the government is trying to coerce the doctors to get back to work. In the latest move, 100 doctors have been fired from a hospital in the capital, Nairobi. Here's our report. Kenya is facing a medical crisis. Hundreds of doctors are on strike. They are demanding higher wages, jobs for medical graduates, and complete medical coverage for themselves, among other things. The strike started on March 15th, and for almost a month now, Kenya's hospitals have been left paralyzed. Nothing else we can do. You just hit me. Well, waiting either doctors to resume in their jobs or to go to your father. Nothing else. What else can we do? It's under comforting them, giving them our chest to lean on at the moment. Yes. At the heart of this row are medical interns. Before the strike began, the Kenyan government put out this notice. It's a revised salary threshold for medical interns. Look at the minimum amount, 27,000 Kenyan shillings. That's a bit more than $200. That is the all-inclusive monthly stipend the Kenyan government was offering doctors. Interns have to be posted and they have to be posted and paid enough money. They're the ones who run the facilities. They're the ones who are in charge of the wards. And they're not being paid after working 16-hour shifts. $200 a month as a medical intern, pulling off 16-hour shifts, only to walk home with less than $10 a day. The upper cap is 70,000 Kenyan shillings. That's slightly below $550 a month. You can see why Kenya's doctors are livid. They want the government to improve their wages and working conditions. The government has agreed to some of their demands. They've set the stipend to the maximum, 70,000 shillings. They've agreed to hire all medical interns looking for a posting, about 1,500 of them. And they've set aside a 2.4 billion shilling fund to facilitate all this. It sounds like the government is meeting the doctors halfway. So then why are the doctors still on strike? Because this is a far cry from what they were promised in 2017. Kenyan doctors had gone on strike in 2017 as well. That strike lasted 100 days. Back then, the Kenyan government had reached a compromise, a Collective Bargaining Agreement, or CBA. Seven years ago, Kenya's government had agreed to pay medical interns 212,000 shillings a month, thrice as much as they're offering today. Yet, Kenya's doctors are being told to take the deal and get back to work. However, the doctors are holding their ground. Because government has refused to honor the collective bargaining agreement that we signed seven years ago, the government on strike have just joined them. But the Kenyan government is testing their resolve. On Tuesday, a government hospital announced that a hundred striking doctors had been sacked. This is the Kenyatta University Referral Hospital in the capital, Nairobi. They also said the doctors had already been replaced, mostly by interns. But five doctors had also been hired from nearby countries, three from Ethiopia, one from Tanzania, and one from Malawi. This looks like a pressure tactic by the Kenyan government. The president finally spoke out about the matter on Sunday. I know we have a situation in Kenya with our doctors and interns. I want to implore on them that it is important for us as a nation to agree that we must live within our means. Ruto says the doctors should take the latest deal for 70,000 shillings a month. He asked them to think about the country's future and take the deal for the greater good. Basically, he's playing good cop. The hospitals firing doctors are the bad cops and Kenyan doctors are in the crosshairs. Oh, no, no.